Hello and welcome to my channel, Gel and Tell, where I do my nails and share celebrity gossip. Today I'm going to be reading blind items that have been revealed throughout the month of October. I have seven pages in my Google Doc of blind items, so we'll see how far we get. All blind items are alleged. Blind item revealed number one on October 1st, which is a Saturday. Wait until everyone remembers the answer given by the A-list singer as to why he and the foreign-born former A-list athlete split. He said she was too boring in bed. Publicly said she was too boring in bed. Adam Levine and Maria Sharapova. <laughs> He's been in the news a lot lately. <laughs> like mainstream news. Uh, this is also from Saturday, October 1st, blind item revealed number two. Did this A-plus slash A-list actor once date a, an FBI agent so he could say he did? Yes. Did he bribe or attempt to bribe the FBI to screw over his ex? No. That being said, he is going to have several weeks of horror come to his life once the documents are released related to domestic violence against his ex, and that is... Brad Pitt. Talk about another one that's been in the news a lot lately. Blind item revealed number three, same day. This former A-list singer turned reality judge has been turned down as a housewife, so is trying to sell her own show and her co-star would be this former housewife who is a sister to current housewives. And I would, gosh, I would love it. I would totally watch the show. And that is Paula Abdul and Kim Richards. I am a total Real Housewives girl, and that's a show with many different spinoffs on Bravo, and uh, I've been hearing rumors and reading rumors and watching videos about Paula Abdul potentially coming on to one of the Housewife franchises. I believe Beverly Hills uh, is the one that she was in talks to join and Kim Richards was on, what, three or four seasons of Beverly Hills Housewives with her sister Kyle, and now Kyle and Kathy are on Housewives, and Kathy is allegedly not coming back for season three, or the, for the third season of her being on the show, which is kind of a bummer, but I don't really like her, so goodbye. But I did like the dynamics between Kyle and Kim, no, Kathy, Kyle and Kathy, well, all of them. It's fascinating. I also read um, House of Hilton, that might be a fun uh, nail inspo to do something inspired by House of Hilton, which is all about Big Kathy and Little Kathy and Little Kyle and Kim and growing up. And of course they talk about Paris all the time, but it's more interesting um, hearing about her aunts and her mom and grandma. Okay, another blind item from Saturday, October 1st. Blind item number four revealed, the madam slash procurer has been writing a book, a diary of sorts. She started the day she was arrested. It is many hundreds of pages now and with an editor. She doesn't need any money, so she doesn't have to worry about those making money off crime laws. Off crimes laws? She would give it away for free. Several publishers want the book. She will end, will she end up dead first? Oh. That's Ghislaine Maxwell, of course. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. Do you think we're ever gonna see a, a biography or a book written by Ghislaine Maxwell? Or do you think she will meet her demise in prison? Would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, now we're moving on to Tuesday, October the 4th. Blind items revealed number one. The recently sentenced former a list rapper really needs rehab. No one close to her will say it, though, because they don't want to be cut off from the money. And that is Cardi B. I've heard that a lot. I've read that a lot for a year, maybe a year and a half, two years, that she's been struggling with substances. Uh, okay, blind item number blind items revealed number two. Our favorite foreign-born B-plus list actress slash higher on the list singer was cheated on while she was performing in a different hemisphere. Is it an open thing? Oh, and please stop singing the song that was made famous once during the streaming show. You don't sing it well. And that is Rita Ora, uh, Teika Watiti, 
Kate Bush and running up that hill. You're running up from Stranger Things. Great song. Great, great song. Blind items revealed number three. Tuesday, October 4th still. Long time no hear from the child molesting rapper with a name which would make Elon Musk proud. He is trying to pimp out women he brings from the U.S. to other countries and is having zero success. And that is Takashi69. I didn't know who that was until I started reading the blinds. <laughs> That's There's a lot of stars like that, like Rita Ora. I really didn't know much about her until I started reading blind items, which was at the, what, partway through the pandemic. I've only been reading them for a, a year and a half, two years. Blind items revealed number four. Much like the old district attorney never wanted to prosecute the actor slash possible serial rapist, the current DA is under pressure to not pr- prosecute the o- illiterate former rock star. So far, it is working. And that is Jackie Lacey, Danny Masterson, George Gascon, and Marilyn Manson. Ugh. Danny Masterson is completely, like, rotted to steal a term from um, Beyond the Blinds podcast. He's completely all like through and through rotted. He's a terrible, horrible, 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 horrible person. Allegedly, he's a terrible, horrible person. Blind items revealed number five. Speaking of the barely there celebrities, this offspring has been seeing the pay cable actor again. He must have something over her. He has massive parties at his house And then, when those are over, then and only then does he send for her in the middle of the night. That's Olivia Jade Gianelli, Gianelli, uh, which is Lori Loughlin's daughter. And Lori Loughlin played Rebecca Katsopoulos in Full House and Jacob Elordi. Yuck. That's, well, I... um, They're young and dumb, I guess. All right, moving on to Wednesday, October 5th. The items revealed number one, and this one is too long to read and include on this video, so I've included a link below in the description. Blind items revealed number two. This former A-list singer who is a serial abuser slash sexual assaulter slash woman hater recently threatened one of his celebrity exes with death. Guess who? If you read the blinds, you should know this. It is uh, Chris Brown and Koresh Tran. Chris Brown. Blind items revealed number three. Not much has been mentioned about how the powers that be in Hollywood were taken aback, surprised, not happy, that the three named actor with the voice of a god (laughs) gave away all his rights to a company that does not really do things the way Hollywood likes. Oh, that's right. I remember reading this and then I was, I guessed James Earl Jones and the Darth Vader voice, and I was right. It's James Earl Jones, Darth Vader, Star Wars, and then I guess the company is Reese Beecher. Mm, that stinks. Okay. Blind items revealed number four. This permanent A-list actress let it slip in an interview while doing press for her latest movie that her permanent A-list co-star and his wife used the wife's career to adopt children in different countries. Ugh. How come we never hear about these kids? Ugh, this is crazy. They're, like, in a movie right now that's coming out. Julia Roberts and George Clooney and Amal Clooney. And Julia and George are in a movie right now that... I I don't remember what it's called. I probably won't even watch it. (laughs) Blind Items revealed number five. Same date. October 5th. What is especially crazy about the YouTube troupe deciding to be the morality police and suspending members because of an affair is at least one of those voting for the suspension slash firing tried to sleep with the woman who was suspended slash fired and was turned down. Guess who? You're in the YouTube world, people. You should know this. The Try Guys. Duh. Okay, this is a good one. Blind items revealed number one for Thursday, October the 6th. Apparently, at one point during their relationship, the foreign-born former A-list tweener and his then-girlfriend decided they wanted to try for a baby. There were multiple miscarriages, but no baby. I'm guessing it was probably due to drug use. Duh. 
For whatever reason, the singer has not wanted to try to have babies with his wife, which is one of her reasons for the long-term hatred against the former girlfriend. Yes, you're right. It's Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, and Hailey Bieber, formerly Hailey Baldwin. Absolutely. This cycle continues. This triangle, really, is what I should call it. This this fucked up toxic triangle. (sighs) We love to follow it, though, don't we? Blind items revealed number two. All of these women that agreed to have kids with the host slash actor slash producer also signed an agreement which limits their rights to collect child support. They only get a certain amount per month and can't go to court and ask for more. And that is not Elon Musk. (laughs) If you know, you know. That's Nick Cannon. Blind items revealed number three. This daytime talk show host is misremembering her out of studio times with her former co-host. She treated him miserably outside the office to get back at him for perceived slights in the office. Now this one blew my mind and I had to go down a bit of a rabbit hole. And I encourage you to do that as well. Uh, It's Kelly Ripa and Regis Philbin. I had no idea. Blind items revealed number five. This very recent Marvel star is wallowing in a pity me about a recent breakup with his girlfriend. When he's the one who has been on a groupie hooking up extravaganza with his newfound fame and destroyed the girlfriend. That is Simu Liu, the Chinese-Canadian actor, author, stuntman, known for portraying Shang-Chi in the 2001 Marvel Cinematic Universe film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. That does it for today's episode. Thank you so much for coming to my channel. Please hit the like and subscribe button on the way out and leave me a comment below.